Perch viewers, welcome back. Chef Kimberly here with Perch with my good friend, Chef David. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome, good to have Thanks you back again me. with us. Thanks for having me back. Today we have a special treat for you. We're going to be cooking on the Mila Combi Steam Oven XXL. So this is the big boy. And the other cool part about today is we're actually in a client's home that we provided all the appliances for, which I think is so cool to be able to see it in it's, the home yeah. with a beautiful design kitchen. Just right. an added challenge working in someone else's kitchen. Right, <laughs> right. It'll be fun. It'll be it's going to be fun. So yeah. can you tell us what we're doing today? Yeah, we're, we have uh, some beautiful halibut. We're going to actually top that with a herb crust that Chef Kimberly has created. Also, we're going to uh, set that on top of some beautiful linguine. We're literally doing an entire meal in the steam oven, a meal that you probably didn't think like you could actually do in there, like dried pasta. We're going to be steaming the kombucha squash with right. some heavy cream. Right. The only thing I'm gonna be doing on the stove is melting butter, literally. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. And it's all gonna be done within 15 minutes together. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be setting our steam oven to steam at 212. So that's the highest you can go for steam that is boiling point. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up okay. while you could start putting stuff on the pan. Okay, definitely. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to steam cooking. 212. I'm just gonna set a duration of 20 minutes while we wait for this to get to temperature. explain what we're doing here so we just went ahead and put the pasta directly on here uh, you don't have to measure out the water just as long as it's covering you give it like a nice little gap mm -hmm. and your each oven comes with different trays so there's a perforated tray that we're using here and then there's a solid tray but what we did is we went ahead and stacked these together so that when our pasta is done all I have to do is pull it up and it's pretty much a strainer right, right. you don't have to use any extra pans or right. pots that's what I love about it I don't yeah. have all these pots on my stove I don't have to worry mm -hmm. about washing dishes like a bunch of dishes after which is not my favorite it's thing. It's super simple, very convenient, and just a quick way to get things done, mm -hmm. safe, um, and uh, anytime it can be a little extra efficient in the kitchen, oh, uh, yeah. that's always helpful. So, yes. all right, and I did just a small handful there. It looks yeah. like about a third uh, of, of a packet there. Okay, so our oven is at temperature now, 212. Um, these are gonna go in both for 15 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in at the same time. So Chef David, I'll follow you since okay. I yeah. have to basically balance this <laughs> and make sure I don't spill all over the place. Yeah, that water will definitely right. ride. So this I'll is just gonna slide do that right first here. And take off my fogged glasses. Yeah, my glasses are gonna get nice and foggy. <laughs> I'm gonna probably run into you. Quick clean. And I, I can just set it wipers. right on top, yeah. Yep, just set that on top, close the oven. Perfect. Yeah, and then these ovens now come with the telescopic racks that pull out all the way. So if that's you have amazing. A yeah. nice, like, large turkey, because you can fit a large turkey in this oven. Right. Don't let the size fool you. I mean, you could do maybe up to like a 20 pound turkey. Absolutely, I know in the smaller yeah. ones, I've done like 15 pounds. So I'm pretty sure this one's like a nice 15 pound that's turkey a nice, in there. That's a nice, beautiful so, space there. To yeah. Nice big turkey. So I being able that. to pull that out right to your arm length, right? Yep. So in the meantime, we're going to work on our brown butter with some garlic so we have three cloves of garlic and a quarter cup of butter I'm just gonna let that melt peel those slice them really thin and then let them get nice and brown till you start smelling like that almost nutty butter that nutty, <laughs> yeah. and that works so well with this recipe as well because of that nutty flavor that it naturally has you know yes. the, the uh, squash. squash and all things fall I'm ready for flannels and pumpkin spice and everything nice. <laughs> My basic is coming out. Okay, so I'm gonna take some herbs. For this crust, what you do is you take some butter, some salted butter, some breadcrumbs, and then you can do your you know, choice of herbs. I'm doing a little bit of chives, some parsley, and then uh, chervil, right? Am I yes. saying that right? Chervil, yes. always, I always get tongue twisted with that <laughs> one. <laughs> so it's about one ounce of each herb, and then you're gonna do a stick of butter. So uh, the one stick of butter, and then it's about one cup of breadcrumbs. So I use panko breadcrumbs, we're gonna use a roboku. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start separating these. All right, so I have that chopped up. How's that butter coming along? Let's, I smell it. It's starting yeah. to smell a little nutty. Yeah, let's get the smell sensor going on. Here. Yeah, right? Kind of the smell-o-vision. 
So I'm gonna take my stick of butter. You want it to be at room temperature. So I'm gonna chop it up into squares. So I'm gonna throw that into the Woroboku. All right, so Are just kind of giving it a quick chop. Happy with that color? Yeah, that's good. It looks pretty so good. The garlic nice and toasted. Yep. yep. Kind of just waiting for the garlic to get nice and toasty. Yeah, it's looking nice and golden now. Mm -hmm. it didn't so it's take gonna long. give it like a sweet flavor. Yeah. Take that's away from that amazing. spiciness that you get from raw garlic. Right, yeah, it, it does have a bite, right? Mm -hmm. Right right at the end of it. So So it. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and locked. I'm gonna add my half a cup of breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs. I just let this run and I kind of want it to be a nice fine fine chop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that off high, let it go for about one minute. Perfect. And then now I'm gonna take my herbs and just toss them in there. I'm gonna get this really nice, pretty green color. Close that up. Everything. Turn this on low and then add the butter slowly. So we'll go ahead and put it on this cutting board. So what you're going to do now is take your mix and sandwich it between two parchment papers. Then you're gonna take a rolling pin and just roll it out nice and thin. I think the thinner, the better. As thin as you can get it, just kind of rolling it out nice and flat. I like to kind of turn at room temperature. This is really fun. So what it does is it gets solid in the fridge. So once you put butter in the fridge, it, it becomes solid and then you could cut out little pieces and you could just place it on top. This is really cool because you could also keep it in your freezer. Like you put it in a, in a Pyrex or something right. nice and tight and have them ready for you whenever you have a little dinner party. So if you like making cookies, this is right up your alley. Yeah, right? <laughs> Can't wait to see that on the fish and the right. uh, beautiful crust it's, it's so going beautiful. to create. So there you go. So you kind of get this look and it's going to get nice and solid so you can cut it. I'm That's go a nice ahead. thin layer. Yes. And go Very ahead nice. and place this in the fridge. Thank you. A nice mm -hmm. little pushed open in our Mila fridge. All right. There we go. And then let that set. Awesome. And we have about one minute and 45 seconds. Look at while that's cooking, I'm making a nice crust for my fish, and now we're ready for our stuff to come out. These actually cool down pretty fast. So you can actually pull it up like this. Uh -huh. See? Right out of the oven, I could touch it without burning myself. Here's all the water pouring out. Just give it a little shake. Look at that perfect pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the steam function, cancel cooking. Go ahead and go to operating modes on level three. And then press OK. And that's it. Want to toss a little oil in here? Yeah, I, I grabbed it with my hands because I wanted to see, you know, I want to be able to feel, uh, make sure it's al dente. And it, it was perfectly Perfect. al dente. Yeah, there's really virtually no sticking at all. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how easy is that? So Chef David, do you want to go ahead and Put this in the blender? Sure, sure. Okay. Need some help? And we've got our garlic here. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of, uh, we're using white pepper. White pepper this time. Just Avoid a couple some extra of pinches specs. of white pepper. We have some kosher salt. A little bit of salt. And I like to add a little extra salt when it comes to like a pasta sauce. Yeah, that's, that pasta will definitely absorb. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this now and uh, get that started. Raise that speed. Oh, okay. right. I love that color and the consistency. Yeah, it's like more of a thicker consistency. If you want it to be a little bit runnier, you could always add a little bit more cream to it. Yes. But in this case, that oh, looks gorgeous. Nice. Oh look my at gosh, look at that color. Isn't that great? It looks fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty, it looks fake. So we have our nice sauce. We'll wait to toss this in our pasta. So we're gonna go ahead and get our fish started. So I'm gonna show you how this works. It's a nice sheet. Right? Look at that. 
So I'll go so ahead just... and put some gloves on. So you're still gonna salt your fish, even though this has a little salt on there, you still need a little bit of that extra salt, a little salt and pepper. So we have my little crust here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut enough, enough to cover the top of our fish. Go ahead and do that. It's about there, looks good. And get uh, thoroughly salted. Thoroughly and salted, yes. Yeah. Fish needs a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna yeah, go ahead and carefully peel this back. And put that on the fish. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this under the broiler. I would say about eight minutes, Chef David. Yeah, what do you think? Maybe, yeah, about seven or eight minutes. Seven we'll or eight take a minutes, look at yeah. it on the seven minute mark and see what it looks like. All right, I'll let you go ahead and do All that. Right, do and that. take this off. While we're waiting for our fish to finish, so it has about one minute left, we're gonna go ahead and toss our pasta in our beautiful, what we have, what we're calling over here, our orange juice. <laughs> it looks like orange juice totally, a little bit. Totally. So we're just gonna go ahead and toss that. And uh, I actually have a fork that I Your brought. Your aerial fork? <laughs> Your dingle hopper? Yes. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful fork. Look at this beautiful color. That's wow. That's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the fish now, Chef David. You're okay. gonna give that a quick little toss, add a little salt on there just for good okay. luck. I yep. was like a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Perfect timing, look at that. I knew I was coming. Look at that crush, Chef David. Oh boy, oh look at this. boy, I knew it. I wish you could smell Amazing. this. Yeah, seven minutes is perfect. We have the little nice crispy round edges. You still get a little nice of that green. It's like ombre, it's like an ombre effect to it. I'm gonna go ahead and Gorgeous. set this right next to you. Thank you. So we're pretty much ready to plate our dish. We're gonna we're gonna use this really nice black plate so that our pasta pops. Get right, nice we're pop all doing like contrast. You're, you're eating with your eyes first. <laughs> so let's try to get a nice scoop of pasta. Wow, look at that! And set it down right in the middle for you. Yeah. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and slide that fish right on top of that beautiful pasta. I'm so, so creamy. So then we have these garlic, they're called garlic flowers. I think it's such a beautiful color. We're just gonna go ahead and spread these on here with our That's tweezers. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm telling you, real simple dish, but it looks like you literally got it at a gourmet restaurant, Absolutely, right? Yeah. I love it. It looks so pretty. It almost reminds me of the ocean. <laughs> We're talking about Ariel. It looks so pretty. So here you have it, folks. We have this beautiful dish ready for fall with our halibut, our awesome crust we did under the broil. And then we steamed our pasta and our squash all at once. All of this was made in the Mila XXL Combi Steam Oven. And I'm so proud of us. Super quick and convenient and just and how beautiful just beautiful yes. uh, everything smells amazing too yes yeah, gotta bite into that for sure so i hope everyone watching you enjoyed this recipe and it's going to be available for you to try at home so if you do i want to see some pictures for sure thank you chef david for joining me today of course it was fun thanks for having me yes it was super informative super delicious and if you want to try this recipe you could visit our youtube channel we're going to have the recipe right under or you could go to perch.com to find a showroom nearest to you set up an appointment and come meet us yeah come uh, right. hang out with, come us, hang out sure. with us thank you for watching everyone this is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our perch youtube channel